Welcome back everyone to the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise here on Madden 20. It is week 11 and following the bye week the Jags remain with only three wins on the season. But they have a big chance here in week 11 against the Colts. Miles Jack gets a chance to possibly up his development trait and break out. So does Leon Jacobs. That's two linebackers getting a chance. But they aren't the only two players getting a shot at upping that development trait. There's also one player on the offensive side of the ball, and that is Leonard Fournette, who has come back from his injury and has looked ungodly. Looks like he's back to 2017 form. But before we get to the game, of course got to talk some bit of draft prospects, and I've been looking at safeties to uh, see exactly what might be there if... I want to replace either safety in Ronnie Harrison or uh, Gerard Wilson. I like Irons from NC State, and Matt Adams is interesting because of that man coverage. That's about the only reason I really took an interest in Nate Adams. I'm scared about where his zone coverage could be, but that man coverage is very interesting. For the injuries we got to deal with, another receiver's on the board for a couple of weeks. DJ Chark, after starting to look really good now that he was going to get a chance to start goes out with a pulled groin luckily the Colts have a big injury as well no T.Y. Hilton for this week's matchup as he'll be out five weeks with a broken collarbone next time we see him will be the last game of the season more than likely when the Colts come to Jacksonville now the Colts do still have Andrew Luck in this universe so sadly they have a much bigger advantage at quarterback. No Jacoby first set under center here. It's uh, the old man still uh, in control here. I forget that Twitter account. I was trying to make a joke of that. Don't remember it for some reason. Defensively, though, they do have their young playmaker, Darius Leonard, who is going to be tough, I'd say, to run against and even to throw the ball against and somebody is going to have to show up on offense in the passing attack to take the place of no DJ Chark, no DD Westbrook. Who's going to be the go-to guy for Nick Foles when we have to air it out? That's going to be the big question and the big question that needs to desperately be answered in this one if we want any chance to uh, take down the Colts. Not to mention that defense is going to have to look very good as well so on to the field we go as we are off in this one had to get that hesitation in there that is Emmanuel Hall who was signed uh, with Najee Good being released to uh, just be some depth at wide receiver since we don't really have any right now Nick Foles having a very solid season overall it's been though very uh, flip flopped from where it began, as this is the defense here. Zach Virgil in the middle with Darius Leonard and Anthony Walker Jr. And, of course, a decent safety pairing, if you ask me. I like Clayton Gathers and Malik Hooker as a tandem for the Colts. So, first, third down of the day. It's a pass, and it's Chris Conley. The former Chiefs hook up for a 12-yard connection and a new set of downs on the out route. So, hey, the first big pass we need to complete worked out. Second and 10. Foles going to drop back again. He wants to throw quick, but caught quicker by Darius Leonard. The young linebacker gets the sack and his first of the day. Third and 13. Big play needed to keep this drive alive. Foles to throw out of the gun. Plenty of time. Goes for O'Shaughnessy, but it's well defended by Malik Hooker. Falls incomplete, and the Jags have to punt early and give it to Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. The offense, a decent or more decent offensive line than they're used to, and of course, I'd say a very decent backfield when Naheem Hines and Marlon Mack has dropping back is Luck to begin here on second and ten. He's got all day but no one to throw to as that one gets sailed out of bounds. Good coverage cannot lead to a sack on the last play. It's third and ten. Pressure is coming. Luck's going to air it out. He checks it down to Ebron in the flats. 
and Ronnie Harrison able to make the tackle for the stop. He's had a pretty decent season overall. After a very good punt, the Jags have to go a long way, and they begin on the ground with Fournette, who buys them some breathing room. So third and three after the six-yard pickup. Foles to drop back, looks to throw, connects with Ben Koyak. It's a new set of downs. In reality, Ben Koyak just got re-signed by the Jags, so ain't that convenient. Second and ten, Foles in the shotgun. Setting up a screen for Gaskin, but nobody blocks Clayton Gathers. It's a loss of, I believe, four there. As Clayton Gathers was really just came through unblocked, and you can't allow that to happen. Third and 14, Foles to throw. Can they connect? They do! It's Chris Conley for the second time today. 21 yards and another big third down reception. So we know who looks like they're going to be showing up today. First and 10 out of the gun. It's a handoff to Fournette. And he found a way through a little bit of traffic. Picks up the first down after taking a hit. And he's now got over 500 yards rushing this season. Pretty good for a guy who missed six weeks uh, at the start of the year. As the pitch goes out to Fournette. He's got plenty of room to work with. Gets another first down as he's brought down by Malik Hooker. So into Colts territory for the first time today are the Jags. First and 10 under center is Foles. You got Armstead giving Fournette a breather in there as Foles looks to throw though. Goes to the curl for Conley. He's definitely the go-to guy right now. First down Jacksonville as Conley gets his third first down reception. First and 10, Foles. Under center, handoff goes Armstead. He had a bit of room, but couldn't make a lot happen. It'll be a pickup of four. Third and six, Foles. Shotgun takes the snap, looks to throw, almost intercepted. Should have been. It was in the hands of Malik Hooker, but he couldn't hang on. The Jags settle for a Josh Lambeau field goal, and it's back to Indianapolis. As Andrew Luck looks to throw, has time, finds Marlon Mack on the check down. And he'll pick up nine. Second and one now after the Mack nine-yard catch. Handoff goes Marlon Mack's way, and he'll have enough for the first down gain of two. So a new set of downs, thanks single-handedly, uh, essentially, by Marlon Mack as they go to play action now, and it's a catch for Eric Ebron nearing a first down. He was hit hard by Miles Jack, but hung on. As second and ten, or I'm sorry, second and one, and might as well make it third and ten is down goes Andrew Luck. Leon Jacobs. Remember, if he plays well enough, he gets that uh he gets that development upgrade as this is a free play, and look at Devin Funches go up. It was a free play as Josh Allen jumped off sides. But Devin punches with a crazy catch to end this first quarter of play. It's 3-0, Jags on top. First and 10 now for the Colts as they're in the shotgun formation here. Luck to throw, he connects. That is, I believe, Dwayne Allen, actually. I am unsure exactly who. I know it's Allen is the last name, but either way, it is a first down for the Colts and Marlon Max got room to run on that pitch. He'll get about eight maybe there. Second and three coming up. As the Colts look to throw again, Luck connects with Eric Ebron. He's got enough for the first down down to around the nine yard line. Third and goal though quickly afterwards. Luck out of the shotgun, looks to throw. Has all the time in the world to the back of the end zone. It's T.J. Jones. The former Giant picks up the touchdown reception, and the Colts get their first lead of the day. So first and 10 now for the Jags is Foles to throw and immediately is off the mark. Intended for Jeff Swain, intercepted by Zach Vigil, and that is a giant misstep there. Way too early on the throw as Swain hadn't even thought about making the cut on that route as a flag flies in here on a quick throw to Devin Funches. 
It's going to be a holding call, which is going to force the Colts back. That is great for Jacksonville right now. Now puts the Colts back in their own territory just barely. Luck looks to throw out of the gun. Connects with Funches again. He's got more than enough to get a good chunk of that yardage back. Second and four coming up. Out of the gun, luck to throw, connects, that's Chester Rogers. He gets enough for a new set of downs, down at the 29 of Jacksonville. So it's been a heavy dose of the air attack here by the Colts. Not a surprise with Andrew Luck as your quarterback. As Luck has to move as the rush was coming, it forces him to take too long, and down he goes. The longtime veteran and the rookie combined. Campbell and Allen get half a sack each. Third and 23 following the Campbell-Allen combo sack. And it's a crazy catch there by Marlon Mack with Josh Allen on him. It'll set them up in makeable field goal range for Adam Vinatieri. It's a 50-yarder from here. So the kick is up. And it is no good off the crossbar. A shock there as Vinatieri didn't have enough of a leg to get that field goal. That gives the Jags great field position nearly at midfield. And, well, Leonard Fournette might have just taken him there with that eight-yard carry. Second and two, offset eye formation. Handoff goes back to Fournette. He's got the first and more. Makes a man look silly as that's going to be a nice pickup of round 10. So another solid pickup by Leonard Fournette here. First and 10 now to go. As out of the gun, it's a handoff to Miles Gaskin who picks up eight. Another solid carry from their ground game. Second and two. Now Foles looking for another screen. This one's set up for Gaskin again. He can't find room though this time around either. This time it's only a loss of two though. So not as bad of a loss of yardage, third and four here. As Foles looks to throw on third down, he's going to connect with Chris Conley. He's looked his way all day long when throwing that football, and it has worked. We needed someone to step up, and Conley has. First and 10, Foles gets a man in motion here as he pitches out to Fournette, and the block by Cam Robinson onto Hooker doesn't do the job. If he gets that block, Fournette has plenty of running room. Third and 12 now out of the gun. Quick throw. That's Deion Kane. The former Colt makes his former team pay. A big 18-yard pickup on third down. Puts the Jags at the six with first and goal. Pitch goes out to Fournette. He's got blockers. He is in the end zone. Touchdown Jacksonville as they take back the lead here. Fournette needs another touchdown, though, to up that player development. We'll see if that happens, though, as Andrew Luck to throw. He connects with Zach or I'm sorry, I almost called him Zach Pascal. That is Devin Funches on the reception. Third catch today for him. Jalen Ramsey is following Funches all day long today as a screen set up for Funches this time around, and Jalen's all over him there. That is going to be a loss of four as it takes us to the two-minute warning. Second and 14 for Indianapolis as they're looking just to put some points on the board before half. Quick throw over the middle. That's Funches again. He's seeing a lot of looks his way and nearly picks up a new set of downs. Third and one as the no huddle happens. And Marlon Mack again somehow comes down with one. First and 10. No huddle continues as that's Chester Rogers on the catch. He'll pick up a new set of downs with a pickup of 14. Second and 10 now is finally a chance for Jacksonville to get a rotation in. Andrew Luck with time over the middle connects with guess who? Devin Funches. A new set of downs as the timeout is taken. First and 10. One timeout left for Indi Indianapolis as that is a catch by, I believe that was Ebron. Seven yard pickup, second and three from the eight. Colts to throw, Locked to the end zone, connects, but there's a flag. Will this touchdown stand? No, it will not. It's a holding call to move them back. And because of that, 
they would have to settle for a Vinatieri field goal. So we're tied up at 10 apiece in this one. The Jags not getting as much from their passing game as you would like, but their running game is definitely getting the work done. Hopefully, they can keep it going in the second half. Let's take a look, though, around the league at what's going on here at the half. In Baltimore, the Texans face the Ravens, and Lamar Jackson is out showing Deshaun Watson. 17-7, hopefully the Ravens can pull out that W. Meanwhile, in Carolina, we've got NFC, out, NFC South action as it's 28-0. Falcons having a very good year, and it looks like it's going to continue. And finally, up in the Motor City, it's Dallas facing Detroit. Both teams having very good years. Dallas currently on top, 14-7 in that one. Back here in Indianapolis, though, as we take it to the second half of play. The Colts looking to throw early, and Luck connects with Eric Ebron, brought down by Jake Ryan. Second and 10 now from the 30, from their own 39. Handoff goes Marlon Mack, who had a big lane to run through. He's brought down by Miles Jack rather quickly. It's going to be a nice game, though, nonetheless. Third and one, though. As Luck to throw goes quick to Funches. He'll pick up another first down. Ramsey and Jack there to bring him down. So that's the seventh catch today for Funches. He's got 92 yards so far on the day. No touchdown to speak of. Second and 10. Luck hands off to Mack. There's already a flag, so we normally know what that means. It's going to be a hold on the Colts. That's going to move them back. Third and 20. That hold does not help them at all. As Luck looks to throw out a gun. He's got time. To the sideline, it's intercepted! D.J. Hayden with the pick. It was intended for T.J. Jones, couldn't connect, and it's in the hands of the Jags as they take over at their own 36. Foles looks to throw on second and six from the 36, and he's taken down by Stewart on the sack. So second and six becomes third and 18 thanks to the sack. Foles out of the gun. Connects with Deion Kane, but he can't hang on this time around. And it looks bad as Chris Conley is down. Luckily, he would return to this ballgame. We're not down another receiver for the long term as Marlon Mack, though, is making a lot of this defense look bad. A big carry there. It was a rough First half is having a very good start to the second half. First and 10. Colts under set or luck under center as the pressure's coming off the play action. That's Miles Jack getting the sack. He's had a, he's had a very solid season, and he may just get that superstar development if he gets one more of those. Second and 19, handoff goes to Mack. He's hit hard by Jack, who pops it free. Guess who's got it? Leon Jacobs. You're not going to outrun the man to the five. Touchdown, Jacksonville. And that right there, folks, will seal Leon Jacobs getting a development trait upgrade. Josh Lambeau would miss the extra point, though, which is extremely disappointing, but there's another fumble by Marlon Mack. This one was forced by Yannick Ngakwe. Once again recovered by Leon Jacobs. Second and eight. Foles to throw. Quick throw goes to Keelan Cole, baby. And he picks up the first down there. First and ten. Foles shotgun formation. They're looking to throw again. And what a throw to Chris Conley. Shades of Gardner Minshew to DJ Chark in reality, but what a throw down at the two-yard line. Thank God Conley is back. First and goal. Pitch goes out to Fournette. He wants it, but can't get it. He's brought down quickly by Justin Houston. So it'll be second and goal from the five-yard line here. Fournette's still in there in the goal line set. They're trying it a second time. It works out this time around as Fournette is in. And that right there will give him a upgrade to his player development. Two-point conversion attempt here by Jacksonville. Foles under center. Hands off to Fournette. 
Tries to go around the right side. There was nothing there anyway. Should have just tried to bully your way up the middle. First and 10 for the Colts. They're now down 12 points as Luck has to move a bit. Does connect with TJ Jones though. Brought down by AJ Boye. Second and six, Luck in the shotgun. They were fooling with, they were bluffing with the pressure, went to that zone scheme, but it's a catch by TJ Jones who makes the most out of it for a new set of downs for the Colts. First and 10 now, Luck in the shotgun, Marlon Mack to his left, handoff Mack, but dear Lord, AJ Bouye was there nearly before that handoff even happened. Third and seven. Looks like pressure could be coming, and indeed it will be, as Mack just gets that ball before that pressure got there to luck, as Josh Allen has to chase down Marlon Mack, though, for a big gain. It's a new set of downs for the Colts there, 27 yards after the catch. First and 10. It's play action, or I'm sorry, it's an RPO, actually, and that is a catch there. For I believe that's Chester Rogers. He's caught one earlier. Another, or I'm sorry, he's caught four now. Another big first down for the Colts is now second and five. Handoff goes Mack around that right side. He stopped short of the marker though by A.J. Boye. And that's going to bring up third and one. Shotgun formation. Luck looks to throw. He connects with T.J. Jones who's down at the two. We might get one more play here before the third quarter comes to an end. From the one yard line, first and goal after Josh Allen jumped. Down goes Luck, it's James Anualu. What a sack, a big hit by Anualu who's in there for Quincy Williams who's been hurt. It's been a fun game so far as we head to the fourth quarter of play. Second and goal from the six. Luck looks to throw out of the gun. Over the middle, connects with Marlon Mack. Talk about a tale of two halves for a player. Marlon Mack had a terrible first half. It's an amazing second half. Now the Jags need, hopefully, an answer here. As they go reverse, but Chris Conley can't find any room. Jabal Sherrod able to get there to him. Third and 12 after the failed reverse attempt. Foles has to connect with somebody. He connects with James O'Shaughnessy. A big first down. And this is a much needed first down for Jacksonville. Now they can kill some more clock. Third and five though as Foles looks to throw. He'll go short to Swain. Swain gets just enough for the first down against Malik Hooker there. That will at least allow them once again to kill some more clock. First and 10 shotgun formation. Handoff goes Fournette. He'll take it around the left side. Trying to fight his way upfield a bit more. He'll pick up near a first down. Gain of about nine. Third and one. Armstead in. It'll go Armstead's way on the handoff. And that'll be a new set of downs as he's able to get just enough. So it's first and 10 and pressure looks like it's going to be coming. Foles looks to throw over the middle. They had that scouted. O'Shaughnessy was sent up the seam. He gets the big play and it's a new set of downs really inside field goal range. First and 10 for the Jags. Hand off Fournette right up the gut he goes and it's a new set of downs. Down to the 5. 14 yard pickup by Fournette. Nearing another 100-yard outing here. Third and goal from the five. Foles in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looks to throw. He'll connect with Chris Conley. Adding a little bit more to his phenomenal outing. Well, for the Colts, they need to score quickly if they want a chance. Third and ten, though. They got to make something out of it. It's a catch by Chester Rogers, but he will be short of the first down. Fourth and one. This is essentially the game if you're the Colts. You've got to convert. Luck connects with his intended target. That's Devin Funches. First down Colts. And the game ain't over just yet. Two and a half left to go just about. 
as Luck connects over the middle with Funches. First down brought down by Ngakwe. Third and three here. As Luck looks to throw, he'll connect. That's Chester Rogers. Another big first down for Rogers. He didn't go out of bounds, though, so they run some no huddle. Luck running for his life goes down. It's the rookie. Josh Allen picks up another sack today. Well, his first full sack today. As Luck connects through the air. That's going to be another first down, and I couldn't really tell you who that was. That's Paris Campbell. Sorry about that. Forgot he's number 15. First and 10, Luck in the shotgun. Looking to throw again. Connects with Funches. He's been the guy today. Keeps beating Ramsey. Third and goal, though. This is a big chance as pressure was coming out of bounds. Was Jack Doyle? It's incomplete anyways. Fourth and goal from the two. Pressure coming. Leon Jacobs puts this game away with his second sack of the day. And if he didn't already get that development trade upgrade, he just got it there. So three guys, all of which got their upgrades. That is monstrous. I didn't show it in here just for time, but what a game.